Ah, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Joe D. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, it's time for another beer review. And uh, today I am doing it in my, my new glass. I have uh, this new glass that was sent to me. It's a Young's Double Chocolate Stout Glass. And, and I've seen this glass now. Bum's had it for quite some time. Months and months. And he finally sent me one. So I am an absolute beer glass geek. If those of you that have been keeping, uh, that have watched me for a while know that I love beer glasses. So this is uh, the glass that we will be reviewing this beer in today. And it is Alaskan Heritage Coffee Brown Ale, right? Hopefully you can see that okay. Let me see. I don't want to mess with the lights too much, but... That's that's the beer right there. This is a bomber. Okay. 7% ABV. All right. Uh, brown ale brewed with coffee from Heritage Coffee Roasting Company. I would assume that that's in Alaska as well. It's part of their pilot series, limited edition uh, specialty beers. Okay. Um, as usual, I'll share the screen and we will... Uh, look through some of this stuff here. So uh, we'll start with their website, uh, with Alaskan's website. Um, what, what is this? Google just will not stop with the options today. They're killing me. Um, what, what is going on here? All right. Uh, in any case, sorry about that. This is... Uh, from their website, uh, they, of course, they show the ABV 7%. The bitterness is 19, so uh, IBUs. And the color is 25. I like that color number, too. Whenever they show it, I'm going to start talking about that. I don't, I admit, I don't know too much about it. So as I go here, hopefully, uh, as I pay more attention to it, it's something I have not paid attention to. But I think the color tells you even you know of course you see the picture here but i think it tells you before you even crack open this bottle uh kind of more what to expect on the color realm so uh it, those of you that do know i'm sure will comment and uh and and let me know what's what's like uh, the bottom of the scale what's the top of the scale is it like a reverse thing is it you know what i'm saying how how does that work i'd appreciate some knowledge on that um in the meantime, we'll proceed. Uh, it says, this rich brown ale has a big coca aroma with a light, earthy, roasted, and gourmet coffee notes. So I I definitely love uh, brown ales, and I love coffee, so this should be pretty good. <laughs> uh, 28 reviews at, at the time of this uh, beer review on Beer Advocate, I mean. Um, and it gets an 86 on here. It's, it's considered an English brown ale. Uh, I'll click that and we'll re really quick cover what an English brown ale is, according to Beer Advocate, okay? Spawned from the, from the mild ale, brown ales tend to be maltier and sweeter on the palate with a, uh, with a fuller body. Uh, color can range from reddish brown to dark brown. Some versions will lean towards uh, fruity, uh, while others tend to be drier with a nutty, nutty character. Uh, all seem to have a low hop aroma and bitterness. And the uh, alcohol range can be from 4% to 7%. And as you know, man, those those are just a guess, really, because, you know, nowadays, man, things are just getting blown up, right? Like, that that could be in any range right now, <laughs> right? But that's a basic description of this style, uh, the brown ale, English brown ale. Uh, this is untapped, uh, 8,380 reviews, um, 7,644 uniques. And monthly, I'm gathering, now that I've been paying more attention to these numbers on untapped, I'm gathering that's the last 30 days. So I would imagine monthly means the last 30 days, which is uh, 2,301 uh, reviews in the last 30 days. 
a 3.83 bottle caps, which is damn good for 8,300 reviews, man. That's pretty darn good. They say on here it's a 6.8%, um, but it was added in 2013. So I'm assuming that it used to be uh, our previous batch was 6.8%, and this batch happens to be 7 It's a little more current on the information. So with that, we will get back to uh, tasting this bad boy. <laughs> so let's see how much smoke we get out of Alaskan right now, man. Let me get stuff out of the way here. I don't want another beer emergency. So I got my 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 uh, keyboard all the way over here. Those of you who have been watching me for a long time remember when I destroyed a keyboard one day. <laughs> Okay, oh, I didn't cover the cap. The cap uh, says Alaskan Brewing Company, uh, made in Alaska, and yeah, it's a pretty basic cap. You know, nothing too crazy. All right, here we go, man. Let's see if we get some cool smoke. Oh, bro, come on. <laughs> we need smoke man we need some drama in our beer bro you know what i'm saying let's see so i'm gonna give her a nice little pour uh let's see what kind of head we get out of this it's a bomber so i'm not i'm not going too crazy on my pour okay right away man you get that that right away haven't even put it to my nose yet right away i'm about 12 inches away <laughs> Side profile. I'm about 12 inches, and I'm getting that big, big, big maltiness out of this thing. Roasted maltiness. And a little coffee. Right now, it's just kind of more of a, of a really nice uh, sweet, really nice sweet kind of brown ale right now. Not, not a whole lot of coffee in there. And a super subtle little really teeny bit of hop you know, in the background. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I look, I like brown ales. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite styles. I happen to be more on the, some people call it light beers or dark beers. And, and to make it simple for you, I kind of happen to, to like more dark beers, I guess you would say. No charge. But browns are definitely one of my favorite styles uh, for me personally. Uh, but I, I drink damn near everything, right? As long as it's got beer on the title, I'll drink it. <laughs> the inside of the bottle cap, some of us geeks like to see that sort of stuff. Pretty darn clean, man. Pretty darn clean. There's a little bit of uh, beer juice in there. <laughs> I'm tempted to lick that. I ain't going to lie. I'm one of those weirdos, man. <laughs> anyway, man. <laughs> I would give this a one thumb up only because it's supposed to be a coffee brown and i'm not getting any coffee at all i'm getting a really good brown ale but i'm not getting any coffee um now as you know as for um the bottle itself like when i'm not a, there's a code but i'm not exactly seeing a date so i mean i don't know you know, maybe if I have a newer ver, you know, a super super fresh version, I don't, I don't know how, how old or whatever this bottle is. I, I don't remember it buying it, maybe but a month ago or so. But and that still doesn't mean much. Sometimes when you buy uh, your beers, you know, you 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 know they they've been sitting on their shelf for a while. But it's really good. The only reason I'm giving it a one thumb, uh, I'd give it like one and a half maybe if I were judging it just on it being a brown ale, but it's supposed to be a coffee brown ale, so I'm not getting any coffee, so when I don't get no coffee, <laughs> it kind of affects the score a little bit, okay? It has a little bit more of a hop to it as you're drinking it on the back of the palate. I mean, God, it... 
If hops ain't your thing, don't let that scare you. Trust me, because it's subtle, all right? It's not uh, – it's, it's really good, though. I, I do dig it. <clears throat> there ain't too many – Alaskan's a damn good beer company, man, so don't – you can hardly go wrong with anything Alaskan. Mm. And this glass is bomb, dude. I love that. Look at that. It's got that nice little – it looks like a barrel for one thing, okay? And then it's this, this, there's this nice little lip at the top, and that really helps it drink nice. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going <clears> to <throat> finish this one off camera. Thank you for tuning in. Again, comment on the color and all that stuff. I'm not really knowledgeable about those numbers. So let me know how they go, if it's a zero to one or if it's like a golf thing, like the lower the number, the better, whatever the case may be. Uh, just, you know, bust, you know, share me, share some knowledge with you, man, on that. You know what I'm saying? So thanks, man. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate all your support, brothers. Thank you.